I've had this unit for about, gosh, almost 20 years now. And I really haven't had any problems with it whatsoever. It was made in America and this is cast, which I think is was good during the, the time that I bought it. Um, I've owned other compressors as well, much, much larger compressors. But for a small compressor, this has done very, very well. Not till recently did we ever have a problem. And the problem we have is the pressure switch isn't working correctly. So I went looking for a pressure switch and what I ended up finding was a whole assembly. And that's what we're gonna put on here today. This thing's not coming off as easy as I thought it might. So we're gonna to have to take the electrical off um, for both the motor and the, and the electrical cord going. And then we'll be able to spin this thing off. There it is. That's it right there, guys. And this is the pressure switch. Uh, our gauges were not working. The uh, pressure relief valve was not working properly. And I, I'm not exactly sure if the switch was still working. So instead of just trying to piece it together, we bought an entire kit. These are the pieces parts that we took off. These are the new pieces parts. And we, we have to build it up. Shouldn't take too long to do that. One thing this kit did not come with was some Teflon tape. I'll put a link in the description to the kit and some Teflon tape. Hopefully this will work out for you guys. <clears throat> All right, so what we have is we have a gauge on this side that is not touching our pressure switch. Okay. We have a gauge on this side. We have our pressure relief valve here, another gauge to show us what our output is here, and the valve. What I don't know is where this guy goes. So what I don't know is why this is here or what this is for. So we may not use it, and we might use it. Don't know yet. But it does go in the back side here, and it'll fit or it'll screw right in. I know we can shut it off, Again, I don't know why it's here. Um, so for right now, we're gonna put it in and shut the valve off and see what it does. This could actually work, but I don't know, it's not really gonna do anything. In fact, that's probably not gonna work there. I don't think either one of them are. The regulator is gonna need to be off. Ha, huh, that's pretty cool. My old regulator has two ports. This one has three. So this one has four ports, one for the connector for the hose, not sure what that's for. This goes to the pressure switch and there's your gauge. Our old one has only three. For sure, this, this gauge, uh, this pressure switch is not gonna go on the compressor fully configured. So we're gonna retape this side here, put this on the compressor, put this one onto, the comp onto this valve and connect our electrical and see if it works. All right guys, we're gonna have to reuse our three-way pressure valve or pressure control valve, if you will. Um, the control valve that came in this kit was too tall. So the problem we were having is that the top of the valve was hitting down here and we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna wanna mess with that. So now 
I'm just using it like its own wrench. Yep, there we go. We're bringing it all the way up. That makes sense. Now we gotta put our pressure valve on, which is right here. Just wanna get that a little bit higher. There we go. So now I can see it a bit better. Now, where is this? Yeah. The next stage of this is to reconfigure these guys by putting the different ends on them so they'll go into, into here, right here. got our ends on now we got to figure out how which one of these it's going to go on you have a line and you have a motor so we're going to put first we're going to get the lines and the wires into here and then we're going to connect them All right, guys, a couple things that we did that I found that weren't really adequate was this guy right here. And that's where the electrical line would go through. And while it might hold a little moisture out for maybe a little, maybe not, it certainly would not hold the wire in place. And so if you're going to put this on your your wire going to your, your plug, well, that's, that's going to cause a problem. Let me show you what I mean. All right, this little guy right here was in this position right or this placement right here and although it it does have a little bit of a conical shape on it and I like the I like it um, it is not strong enough to prevent this wire from being pulled out so if you anybody hit this wire it's going to be yanking it and putting undue stress here so I replaced it with what you could find at Lowe's these are like what I would use in a an electrical panel it, it's a clamp that clamps uh, spins down on it and then we can secure it with the two the two flat pieces. So another thing that didn't work in the kit was uh, the pressure valve, and it was just too tall. Uh, what I mean by that is this item, this part of it right here, when I went to screw it on, couldn't make it all the way around without hitting the tank. Now, if we were to bring this pressure relief valve or this pressure valve off up higher, meaning put a nipple in to make it up taller, then that valve can work. But in this case, it didn't. I reused my old one. It's gonna be fine, no issues there. My issue was in the electrical. So um, with that being said, it's now installed. My pressure is set at, I think 120, or about 1, 115, 120. And, and that's okay, we don't use this for much of past doing our filter press or just small items. It's, we don't need a lot of pressure to do the things that we're doing and so it's working pretty well i did have another challenge and that's with this tubing right here the original tubing was about half the size and it came in through the bottom well if this one was in the same position then that would have worked for us but it didn't so i grabbed some quarter inch line from uh, an ice maker and i think that'll work okay for right now it's holding air and that's a good thing but the one that came off was much thicker, and you know, if this thing breaks, I'll go get it. But if it doesn't break, I'm gonna leave it. In addition to putting this, in addition to putting this switch in, I put a little muffler on there, and it's a whole lot quieter than it was originally. It really is. So that worked out quite well. 
I'll be sure and leave a link in the description for the pressure switch. Um, it comes as a kit. Um, you, you do get one of these couplings. Uh, I reused mine because it fits my hoses. I added this to it, as I was talking before, and that I think is gonna be a much better design uh, for what I'm doing. Um, the confusing part came for me when I did the wires. So my black wires went to motor and line, and then on the other side it went to motor and line, and that's my, my white wires. Now, I'm not an electrician, and I would ask you to consult an electrician, or at least get the, get the wiring schematic and, and, and try to figure it out. This is how I did it, it works. I did make a couple mistakes, but I corrected it, and everything is fine. So all in all, this was a pretty good project. It was very easy. Uh, I will tell you that I had to keep walking back for tools and a couple other things, and that caused me some challenges. Thank you guys for taking time out of your day to watch our videos. We really appreciate it. We happen to be Virginia's only organic maple syrup farm. Uh, we also have a B&B here on the farm. If you'd ever like to come out and stay or try some of our syrup, go to milkoutfarms.com and check it out. Consider giving us that thumbs up. You don't always forget some of these things. So consider giving us that thumbs up. And until next time, God bless you guys. Do you see yourself in the, in the screen? Yep. Okay, now you can show them. What do you got there? We have a bow right here. You gotta show them like this. No, it's, it's Wilbur's. Um, oh. it, it's our... Like this. Now show them. Um, we, we, we have our boat right here. And it goes right over here, right over here, right over here, right over here, right over right. here. Fuck the X. Marks where the X is. That's cool, man. Okay, hold on. Let's look at your picture. Show me what you got. Hold on. Why don't you back One, up so you can see yourself in the camera? One, Go. two, three. I can't really see my eyes much. You can't? Nope. I can see it. Go ahead and tell them. Whoa. Did you do another one? Mm -hmm. That's really good, Is. Isn't it? It's my house where I'm going to be. What you're going to be? It's what are you going to be? Mm, I don't know. You Nothing? Sure? Yeah, she'll be something. That's for sure. I don't want to be a builder because then I won't get to, I won't get to feed my kids. Yeah. Can't get, you can't leave your kids hungry. No, you can't. What do you think you're? So you're gonna be an artist when you get older? Because you can really draw. Mom says you don't have to be one thing after you don't want to. That's right. You can be lots of things. You could be a mom. You could be a nurse. Maybe, but I don't want. I don't want to be like. I don't want like be as be as mommy and because when Florence Mae grows up, she wants to be a nurse. That's why I don't want to become a nurse because then I won't be on time with the kids. Right, I get that. Because they're always going to want me. Yeah. And boys can't handle it. <laughs> I know I can't handle shots. All right, let me let me, let me film myself. All right, guys, I need you to be quiet. <laughs>